team of researchers from Brazil to give say, a set of short talks, which is mainly about performance logic and decision making with applications to different areas. And they say, so, so they're also very keen to build some joint research with, uh, say, with some collaboration with MDS and with, say, with us and also PhD students. So the room is open until five. So you are welcome to stay after the talks and uh, say, to have some individual discussions and uh, the individual talk. Okay, so let us welcome say, the session from Berlin. So I would like to to thank you all to be here. Uh, thank you to the Ministry of Health that let me. I'd like to come here. Thanks to the DCS research group that inserted this uh, presentation in their seminars, and possibly we'll get more related and we'll produce more. I'd like to thank my, su my my supervisor here, Spavis Theodolidis. That is there, uh, and all the audience that uh, are interested to make these connections with the um, part, I would like to thank to University uh, Rio de Janeiro Federal University and the UFRJ Agency of uh, Innovation and the Lab Fuzzy, the, the guys that came here. And they are from COPY and the foundation that supported them. Uh, this is uh, a COPY Tech Foundation. foundation okay, and let's. Uh, we will have a very short presentation from the <laughs> university about the university, just to to you to know how the groups is working there. And then each uh, researchers will make a very short oh, presentation a overview of their research here. And then we open for questions. And if you want, uh, we can stay and okay, thank you very much. discuss. I'm very happy to come to be here for the invitation. Thank you, Thomas, for making it uh, real. Because uh, we, we tried it one year ago, and we, we didn't have a very large campus uh, in Janeiro. And here is the That's copy. Copy is the, uh, the finger that touched the part of technology. And at Brazil, uh, we have the uh, most important center of engineering research and in education in Latin America. We are joined in 125 labs in 13 post graduation programs. But, uh, here's a group where over the, uh, more than 50 researchers uh, from a large of uh, skill uh, university state. In this case, uh, the grants, products, they are all closed. Uh, closed. And they have a mix uh, more than 60 different items. So uh, they have, uh, I described these products using some characteristics. And they utilize uh, also load fires <coughs> to, so to balance and give weight to the to establish some intervals to define uh, if it, it's high attraction products. It must be here. And we got last results. Thank you. Uh, as I said, I'm the same school, but now I'm a visiting PhD at Loughborough University. There are two in a few. And any reason, I'll be there available for you for anything. So, my, my, my project there is that my, I'm a visiting PhD student there, so my project for PhD. Is that so? That's what I call the airport perception. Mm -hmm. yes. Perception, uh, in fact, is good because it's not a really thing that tells you what's going on, but tells you what is direct. But after here in Manchester, mm -hmm. survey, I learned, I learned that I could do a little bit more, another way to see the problem. That's why I took the, the both, the both. Uh, uh, more than 90 percent of the surveys in the airport is just for passengers. Another thing I realized is the airports not concerned only for passengers. They're concerned for a lot of people interested in the airport. They are concessionaires, sales providers, the business people, business uh, groups. For example, here Merchants is a good, good example for Same this. presentation if, if anyone wants. <laughs> In my year past, 
uh, seems to be very useful because uh, you, you, we, we all know as consumers that most part of our decisions are not based on utility. So the main approach for using some kind of models that understand better this and it could be useful. So that's the beginning of the study. And price is just one of the, the, the attributes that we studied there and that's one of the last papers we published. And I bring them of course. This, this brand, some of these bands, or the major part of these bands are not, uh, are not from here, but there's one that I found with this mark that you know very well. You know, with it's so. Uh, for for students that have dropped school, or students that, uh, let me say, uh, students that. Uh, we never never had the, the, the opportunity to, to go to, to a formal to have a, a formal formal education. Right. So it was to try to evaluate how this project affected the lives of the students in five different dimensions: in the individual uh, dimension of their lives, the relationship with their family, the professional lives, the social life, and the future, the expectations they will have uh, after the. the there we use a, a fuzzy approach. So basically, uh, the idea was to, to make questions to the students. So the students would, will ans would answer the questions. Some questions would be like, uh, how did the, the project, how do you think the project affected, for instance, uh, your capability of getting a new job? Or how did the project affa affected how uh, you can relate to other people, can uh, communicate to other people, how did the project affect it, how, um, let me see, you, you can talk to your parents. Or so we made like 25 questions that were presented for, for, to the students and we had to, since we, the Lab Fuzzy, we were not uh, uh, educational specialists, experts, we had to calibrate how this question was were relating to each one of those those aspects of their lives. So we use professors, their teachers, their the the teachers, the coordinator, the the coordinator of the, the programs and the supervisors of the programs. So those were our experts who was sort of calibrating our <laughs> My contribution to this, uh, contribution to this uh, criticism is to elaborate this kind of map. And here, similar to Luis's uh, uh, approach, I identified a lot of possibilities of identifying the, the experts. As you should know, fuzzy uh, logic is, uh, is based on the experts. Uh, the other one is a worker that is resident and a uh, regular user too. And uh, specialist, resident, regular user, so. Uh, and then, uh, in, the, in an interrogative way of dealing with these guys, not survey, but interaction, uh, that's why I'm talking about design thinking, uh, we can uh, keep a lot of, uh, lots of reading information about economic issues, physical issues, environmental issues, cultural, and so on. Here we can graduate, and then in a, in a, a specific case, which is the most important, and then a, a lot of forms of the data. And then uh, with this information, we can uh, focus for uh, trying to keep more information and to take a uh, decision in a project of that. All right? Okay. <laughs> for about the time? Yeah. 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 But we are in still the, the, the questions. Yes. Uh, of course, if you have any questions, this is open. Uh, people who must leave, uh, it's okay. We know that we, we know that the time. And we are here just uh, to answer your yeah, discuss. Okay. okay, I say something I think it's very important to us and also to Pavis.
uh, we'd like to have a, a joint force for working papers, uh, not only use our uh, models, but uh, to design new models. So we are open to this interaction, mm -hmm. and we are perfect. Yeah.